Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from Bravura Media Company. Today I have another vintage map for you guys. It is a map of Portsmouth, New Hampshire that was originally produced in 1877. As you can see, it is a bird's eye perspective map in that we get to see the changes in landscape and in elevation. We get to see building architecture. We get to see ships in the harbor. We get to see people walking down the street. We get to see uh, different aspects in a, in a three-dimensional kind of view. So let's dive right in. We're going to zoom in, kind of explore and examine this old map from 1877. Go down to the bottom and verify. Yep, it says Portsmouth, Rockingham County, New Hampshire, 1877. This is uh, map's kind of near and dear to me. I'm uh, I lived in the uh, New Hampshire area for a while, uh, more specifically the western part. Uh, but certainly the New Hampshire maps have a special part in uh, in my life, and and uh, I love history, and I really loved living in New Hampshire. So uh, just want to put that out. But uh, I looked at this map uh, preemptively, and I found a couple of buildings uh, listed throughout the key. Uh, if we look at the key, not many locations labeled. I mean, 24, and then a couple letters right here and there. Uh, but uh, I found uh, this building right here. I wanted to look it up. It is actually the courthouse. Obviously, it's located on Court Street, right across from Court Place. Uh, just saw that. Uh, I thought another cool, interesting uh, point of reference was right here. Uh, it looks like this was uh, some form of ship construction. So I actually looked it up, and it was the W.F. Uh, Fernald's uh, shipyard, and it was on Short Street, uh, very close to the North Mill Pond. I thought that was kind of cool that I found that. I found a lumber yard. Where did I find this lumber yard? 22, right over here. Uh, I looked this up. This is a lumber yard. Uh, more specifically, uh, Samuel Adams and Company. No relation to the Boston Samuel Adams. Uh, I looked up that family history a little bit. The his son apparently served in the U.S. Navy for a little bit, uh, and I, I think he worked a little bit at this lumber yard as well. Uh, kind of interesting. And what else did we find? Uh, we found a post and telegraph office. If I can find it, I mean, some of these locations, it's like, where's Waldo? They're so hard to see the numbers. I know it's on Pleasant Street. Oh, two. Okay, good. Right here. Uh, this was actually the post office and telegraph office in 1877. You can see it's very close to the courthouse right over here uh, in Court Place. I'm sure they wanted to communicate a different information from the telegraph office. Uh, very interesting. If we will look at, I found the Portsmouth Artillery Armory. It's not really close to the water. Let me see if I can locate it on this map. Uh, let's see. Where's Congress? Congress Street right down here. Here's Congress Street. Okay. It took me a while to find this, but here's 15. Uh, this is the Portsmouth Artillery Armory. It's not too, too close. I guess it's close enough to the water, uh, but, uh, you know, not exactly hugging, hugging the shore right here. So I thought that was kind of cool that I found that. And then I found a brewery. I actually found a brewery. There's another brewery I couldn't find, but uh, here's 16 right here. We go down in the list and look up the number. Frank Jones Brewery right there. So this is this was a brewery very close to the railroad. Uh, probably, actually the railroad actually comes right next to the brewery, and I'm sure they picked up... Uh, product and, and brought it to various locations so uh, that's a couple of the places that I kind of uh, found on this map and kind of explored uh, some of the other I mean I can't for the life of me I looked up where I tried to look up where the jail was and I scoured around Court Street I looked everywhere and I, I mean I can't find four maybe if you I'm gonna let this go for a couple seconds 
if you can see a four somewhere, leave a comment uh, below. I would I would be so grateful because I mean some of these numbers are ridiculously hard to see, ridiculously hard. So they're hard to spot. There's just so many little uh, dots and slashes everywhere. There's so much detail on these maps that they're hard to see. So uh, if you found it, leave a comment below, please, 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 please. Uh, so I really love the ships in the harbor too, and the docks. I, you know, it's look at the cargo right here, the tugboat tugging this boat. I love these maps. There's just so much character in them. And loaded with information with the building listings as well. Uh, truly, truly amazing. That looks like a factory. I'm going to look that up for you guys. I haven't... You know, it's just a mill. Kersage, Kersage Mill. Pretty cool. Right on Hanover Street. So, pretty cool map that we have. We actually sell this map on our online store. Uh, if you go down to the description, you can see a link down there. If you're looking to decorate a home, an office, or a study, and you like this map, uh, check out the link below in the description. You can click that. You can, it'll bring you to our online store with this map. You can actually fully customize it in terms of dimensions as well as framing. So definitely check that out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do videos like these all the time where we investigate old bird's eye maps as well as maps throughout uh, New, New Hampshire and New England maps uh, of different cities throughout the United States, uh, different cities throughout the world, old world maps, uh, country maps. We cover a lot of different maps as well as history. So definitely subscribe to us, comment this video, share this video, like this video, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.